हरे कृष्णा स्पिरिचुअलिटी एम्पावर्स अस टू क्लेम आवर डेस्टिनी सपोज अ पर्सन कम्स टू नो दैट दे हैव गॉट अ ह्यूज लेगेसी इन सम डिस्टेंट लैंड एंड इफ वी जस्ट गेट देयर अ फैबुलस अमाउंट ऑफ वेल्थ प्रॉपर्टी एंड पावर इज गोइंग टू बी देयर्स and then they embark on that voyage as they are going say by ship towards that distant land they may get distracted for two reasons one is while going along they may see some other island and that looks so beautiful and they may think oh you know who goes all that way there this is itself enjoyable let me stay here uh, and another way is if they are going along the ship journey and they think oh It's too much trouble in this journey. Then they turn back, or they don't persevere. Then again, they won't reach their uh, their reach their destination, and they won't get the legacy which was actually meant to be their destiny. Similarly, the Bhagavad Gita informs us that we are meant for a glorious destiny. The first teaching of the Bhagavad Gita is that we are eternal, and we are meant for eternal happiness. In 2.13, the Gita states, "Dehi no smenya tha, dehi kaumaram yava namjara, tha dehan tarap prapti rdhiras tatra namohiyati." So it says, "Dehi no smenya tha, dehi." That inside the deha there is a dehi. Inside the body there is an embodied soul, and that soul, the overall Gita philosophy explains to us, is eternal. Now. realizing our eternal nature requires a journey this is not a physical journey it is a journey of consciousness we need to raise our consciousness from the present material level to its potential spiritual level and yoga practice is the process for elevating our consciousness while we are practicing yoga das at that time we may again lose our destiny not claim our destiny if we get distracted if while practicing bhakti practicing bhakti yoga we get allured by various pleasures which we may find along the way worldly pleasures then we may give up our spiritual journey now if we use our intelligence to remember where we are going that there we have got eternal happiness where whereas here there is only temporary pleasure even the best worldly pleasures are temporary and to give up the eternal for the temporary is a bad bargain so by using our intelligence we can perceive here through the lures that may distract us and similarly what about the troubles sometimes we may feel that the austerities that are required for spiritual progress they are too much but <clears throat> if we keep practicing yoga especially if we practice bhakti yoga whereas other purposes of yoga focus on disconnecting us from the material bhakti yoga focuses on connecting us with the spiritual and because bhakti yoga connects us directly with krishna so even in the sadhaka stage we start getting glimpses of higher spiritual happiness and by understanding intellectually how glorious is the destiny awaiting us and by experiencing higher happiness we get the impetus to Uh, tolerate and penet persevere through the troubles that might be there and thus when we persevere we attain our destiny of immortality in the 2.14 in the next verse the bhagavad gita states yam heen in two verses later actually 2.15 the bhagavad gita states yam heen avyathayante te purusham purusharshabha samadukha sukham dhiram somrutatvaya kalpate so amrutatvaya kalpate we attain immortality how do we attain that na yathayanti te one does not get disturbed samadukha sukham dhiram whether one gets pleasure or one gets pain one doesn't get disturbed and one keeps persevering onwards when we persevere then <coughs> we attain the eternal and that's how we move forwards towards krishna so towards eternal happiness thus spirituality enables us to claim our destiny thank you hare krishna